Alright guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how to get the old installers back, which is version 2.0.4. This is less buggy, the new one is buggy, it downloads, like messes up, it's, it's rubbish. So, requirements, you're going to need WinRAR and some sort of SSH tool if you're on Windows or an SCP. Uh, if you're on Mac, I'm not too sure. Uh, go search them up if you don't have either of them. Also, for start, you're going to need to remove your installers if you've got installers 3.0 um, on your device then you're going to want to remove that to do so you're going to go on Cydia go on to manage packages uh, scroll down to installers click it and then modify and remove or remove them yeah and then just remove it once you remove you want to do uh, I'll tell you Alright, so go to the description uh, down there, and then you're going to download this file. So it's a free download, it won't. And then once you download it, this is where WinRAR comes in. You're going to open it up. You're going to read both of these. You're going to read both of them, the readme and the instructions. And then you're going to extract the installers.dev file right here. Now, you are then going to exit out, and you're going to have that there. You're gonna open up your uh, this, yeah, and then you're gonna on the right hand side, you're gonna navigate to var. So you just make sure you go to the slash up there. So you're gonna click it, yeah, and then you do var mobile, and you're gonna drag that file in. And so you're gonna make sure this is in the right place where you put it. So you're just gonna drag as so, just drag it, let go, and it'll take a few seconds. Once you have done that, you, now this bit you can even do on your iPad Touch or iPhone or on here. I'm going to show you on here, but to do it on your iDevice, you're going to go on Cydia and download Mobile Terminal. No spaces, it'll be coming up on the screen how you should type it out. So once you download that, you're going to go on it and you're going to type in SU, and then enter, and then the password for your SSH, which by default will be Alpine. And then you're going to type in the next bit, which I'm going to type in now. Alright, so by the way, all instructions are in the instructions. That's why I tell you to read it. So if I'm speaking too fast, if you miss something out, you can always go back to that. So now what you want to do is you want to, if you're on WinSCP, you can look for open terminal at the top. Uh, it'll be a little black square. So if you can't find this, I recommend you doing it on the mobile terminal on your device. Or if you can, get it. And then click here and in this enter command you are going to make sure it says private for mobile there if it isn't you want to navigate on here to it that's where you would have put that in there so yeah and what you're going to type in up here is dpkg uh, yeah and then you're going to space uh, the hyphen the pi the line hyphen whatever it is in space and then type in installer oops you can do this exactly on your device as well dot dev then you're going to execute when you execute it's going to go off and it's going to say setting up once it says that you can close now the rest is going to uh well no actually it's all right uh they'll yeah the rest will be on the the device so again yeah so over to the camera. Alright, guys, so here we are. This is my Apple Touch. So now we're going to do the rest of it. So you're going to want to respring. So if you've got SB settings, it's going to be easy, but I'm actually not sure how to respring if you don't have it. But go in City and just download it. So what you're going to do is just slide the top and respring. You don't know how to respring because I don't know how to. You can actually go search if you don't have SB settings, but just reboot your device. So when you when on SP settings, you're just going to go ahead and click Spring. Going to restart. And let's do its thing.
Alright guys, so once you've resprunged your device, you're going to go ahead and slide across and look for installers. Click it. And normally it has like four down there, like in the new one. But it doesn't. It's this one. Yeah, so the end of the video. Make sure you do respring. You have to do. You have to make sure you have re, uh, removed your previous installers. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, see you guys.